morning, ladies. Hello. It's been a few weeks. It's been a couple of weeks. And um, I just got back from my holiday, which was, can I tell you, such a superbly good holiday. I, I just feel so refreshed. I haven't been away for two weeks for a year or more, actually. And um, I just went out to get a coffee with Victoria. And um, I'm taking off my coat. Um, and I'm trying to arrange my camera, actually, which is not behaving very well. Let me just go a bit further down there. Yes, there we are. There we go. You can see by the light in my bathroom that it's a pretty shitty day. It's raining and I've come from 35 degrees in Italy to this and nothing will bring down my holiday spirit because I really feel, I feel so good. And I want to keep that momentum up. So I want to keep that kind of thing inside my head going, a feeling unstressed um, and and balanced and calm. I'd love to read your comments, Victoria. You're gonna read the comments because you know what? I put so much sellotape over my phone that I can't see your comments. Hang on, let me just see if I can. Oh, I just want to say good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Claire. Vaguely read you through it. Good morning, something Macmillan. Yes, this is my hair. So, shall we start with my hair? I decided on holiday that I would not make an effort with my hair with a blow dry and I kind of stuck to it um, and it took quite a few different techniques. This is not its best incarnation but it has, on holiday it felt good, you know when you've got that kind of, you've had a, a bit of sea salt, you, your hair is drying, this is if you have my kind of hair and you're twiddling as it's drying, twiddling a bit, twiddling a bit to get that sort of texture. That's what I did and it worked kind of well but then when I come back to London I was thinking on the plane I'd love to just not bother good morning everybody good morning good morning good morning Sarah um, I'd love to not bother with my hair and keep this up and I just don't know because I don't know if I let it dry naturally in England it would actually not have this texture just be one big bloody frizz but I'm going to start with what I did on holiday with my hair to give it enough moisture even though it looks incredibly dry now it did have you know days I used certain things I had dry um, uh, straw hair and other days I had other hair so I've got here I was given on holiday this wonderful bag by my friend Andrea, in fact the thing is still on it, um, and I put inside all the things that I used that I thought were good on holiday. Uh, I don't travel light. Um, so let's start with my hair stuff. Hang on a TV. Um, I um, use really good shampoo when I'm on holiday um, and I use Kerastase. And I use this one because it's a part of the, um, this one is the, it's called Discipline, but it's the conditioner, which I finished, which I want to show you the most. Let me see if I have any more in my bathroom. Any questions whilst we're here, Victoria? Sarah, there's a question from Sarah. What's your beauty regime to hold on to your sun-kissed glow? And I'm going to talk you through all of that. Um, anyway, the Elixir mask from Kerastase, I had on my hair the whole time. I swam, I have a wonderful swimming cap, bright blue swimming cap, and I was doing a bit of paddle boarding when I was away, and a little bit of swimming with flippers. Swimming with flippers is the best exercise. I loved it, got a few blisters on my feet, but just tones the legs, and then you see the beautiful scenery around you. There couldn't be a more exquisite way to exercise. But, um, where was I? Yes, so I put all the Kerastase in my hair and I put on my shower cap and I went for my little swim and that's when I managed to hydrate my hair because you have the heat of the sun inside the sweaty shower cap like a swimming hat and um, and it kind of worked at its magic and then I wouldn't I'd literally put a tiny bit of water over my hair and and leave a lot of the conditioner in my hair now those of you who have lank hair or you have beautifully straight hair this is not a good thing to do but those of you who have thick, unmanageable, dry hair like mine. It's amazing that each time I did it, I put the water on the shower less and less, thinking, oh, it's gonna be sticky when I dry it, um, and it wasn't. So then I went out um, in the breezy sea air and I just twiddled with my hair a bit. I came back, occasionally I'll take a blow dryer just to take those really weird ends and turn them a bit, but generally not too much. So so that's that was my regime, and then I had two magical things I used, so. Let me just get in this basket. I had, hang on, oh, 
my really, really magical things. Uh, and I need my glasses, thank you. I had, this was the most magical thing. Kevin Murray never used any of his products and um, it was called Young Again. And so it's an oil treatment. And you know, usually with an oil treatment, I could get a bit worried that it's gonna make your hair lank, but I'd take about three pumps of this on my damp hair and I just kind of put it in and then when I dried it, or when it dried in that sun, it just didn't feel straw-like. It just get, kept the texture. You can see actually it's working on really dry hair, but I did it on damp hair. Um, and that, so that was a brilliant product. Sorry if it's back to front, we'll put it on later, Victoria. Um, and uh, any questions as we're doing yes, this? I can, yeah. Any recommendations for beauty buys in Italy? Beauty buys in Italy, oh, you know what? <sighs> Pharmacies in Italy are medium. Um, I did buy, did I buy Young Again in Italy? No, I didn't, I bought it before I went away. Um, no, in a word. I mean, if I think of something, I'll tell you. Um, I did try also, hoi, 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 um, the dry oil, because you know, you know I love the dry shampoo. And this is a hair oil, which is also not bad. It's much thinner. Look, it just literally will drop in my hands. Um, but it, it's definitely an oil. So when I put this on, I felt that kind of, straightening effect so i've got some of my daughters she's obsessed with making slime and i put my hair in it by mistake last night so you still see some of the slime that's not toothpaste um another very good product i loved which i used as well because i was gaining them as i was on holiday is split end treatment by orbe orib orib i call him horrible orib but he's fantastic the smell of these products is amazing and this, you just need a tiniest amount, so it's not an oil. So if an oil weighs you down, just putting a bit of that as a treatment as well as slightly separating the curl. That was my hair regime. Let me put that all together. Now, the thing I got in France, which saved me, it was so, so hot in Italy. Um, if any of you are going on holiday, how wonderful, and get ready for it. But um, this is what saved me, because I get heavy legs and... I had bought, because one of you Facebook ladies told me about Jovenance, Jambre Légère, light legs. And when I was in my French pharmacy shop up, I bought this last year, or February maybe. And so I took it with me. It's a basic mint gel. But whenever I was sort of going out for dinner, because what happens to me, this is just me. I don't know if anyone identifies with this. I don't know if it's a menopausal thing. I don't know what it is, but I'd go out for dinner and I would have maybe had a little lie down before, but um, I'd be sitting at a table, very hot, literally sweat dripping down my back. Sorry to be too graphic. And a fan um, for not just menopausal reasons, just a fan. And my legs were under the table and I crossed my legs on the table like heavier and heavier and heavier. I put this on, really minty, cools down your legs. It was fantastic. And so if any of you are going to a French pharmacy, get this if you suffer from that sort of heavy leg syndrome. Saved me, this product. It was beautiful. Okay, now, let me show you. Pretty Claire's asking, where's your grey top from? Your hair looks amazing. Okay, you're so sweet. But I mean, it, I know we're not. I wish it would last like this. I wish I had the courage to just do this and not go to the hairdresser, have a blow dry. It would be marvellous. Maybe I do one session of this morning and just see how could do I look but um you know one thing I noticed on on holiday this is a weird thing and I'm just going to say it. lots of well not normally a few people took pictures of me who were with me on holiday and I look at the pictures and oh my god huh that's not me but it's amazing how I'm so used to finding my light in a photograph and and when I'm talking to you guys because I have such a nice light here that I sort of thought oh, I'm getting on a bit but anyway I'm not and I'm fine and I'm well, but it, it's just interesting. I don't know why I brought that thought up. I think it was that um, we always think about our holiday snaps as a wonderful memory of our holiday. So taking the right ones is important <laughs> and feeling good about them is important. And, and I, don't, I just brought that up. Anyway, my, my top is from Joseph um, and it's just that it's a very good gray for me. Uh, but let's reveal the truth. I always say to you ladies that I don't tan because I always wear factor 50 and all holiday I put on everyday Helio Care um, and um, it is my favourite uh, sun um, foam thing and I've shown it so many times, I'm going to show it to those of you who haven't seen it before, but it's like that and you just bung it on. Smells good too. Um, it's 
got an oil-free version, it's got a fluid, it's got all different versions, but it was SPF 50, but my nose gets a bit red. So on top of that, I put on the CC SPF 50 from um, IT. And I just, I, it, you need so little of this product, but I literally like, I did that. So that was my kind of day routine like that. And I put that on because I always feel a very red nose is not a, not a good thing. Um, and so that was, I'm going to put that there, Victoria for later. So that was that. Um, and on my body, I used Essederm, the three star one. And I used sometimes because I ran out of that, a Garnier um, Factor 30 spray, which was really not a great product, but I just needed protection. And whatever I did, I got Prague Brown. So look, I am really, for me, I'm quite tanned and I kind of liked it on the holiday. It was unusual because it felt weird to be tanned. But as soon as you get back, and I don't know how many of you have come back from holiday, and when you're there in the humidity and the wonderful sea and air, you think, oh, this is actually rather nice. My clothes look nice. I wake up first thing in the morning and I look in the mirror and I feel healthy. But you get back, you get back and things get dry very quickly. So post holiday routine, how does it look? Okay, questions, Victoria, because I am- Another one, Amanda's asking, when are you back on this morning? I miss your styling. Oh, you're so sweet, darling. You know what? I'm not gonna be back on this morning till September because my, I've got so much work to do on my project. I'm very, ladies, I'm so excited by my project. We are, we've only not that far away from launch. Um, and I will tell you some things about it at some stage, but I, I've got to focus on that because it's the most exciting thing and I've been working on it for five years and it will be sort of in the next few weeks, um, over a month and under two. So, um, where was I? Yes. You get back and you kind of think, mm, my, my skin is getting dry. And the next day, literally, I feel my skin is getting dry. So. A lot of ladies say, I'd love to keep my tan. We're, ladies of you tan, I want to keep my tan. But for me, you know what I do? First of all, when you're on holiday, every day, every day, this is what I did. I was in the bath and I forgot this holiday. Boots have a really good mitten. Um, and they're like two mittens you put on your hand and it's the cheapest exfoliator you can do. But if you ladies like to tan with safety, like factor 30 or 50, then um, I normally take a really nice body lotion, uh, a body cream with me. And actually I had such a nice one I want to talk you through and I ran out of it. It's just the most glorious smell I've ever smelled in my life and I got to find it in my case. And I take these mittens and I just do that. And I'd exfoliate every single day in the shower because if you don't exfoliate your skin, Victoria, tell me if I'm correcting this. Let me just turn off this light. This is bugging me. Um, your skin, um, your skin in the sun needs to be um, peeled off before it peels itself off. You need to take off the dead skin more than normal. That's what I think I'd say because your sun is, the sun is perhaps giving you more dead skin, uh, quicker, I'm really not speaking English this morning. Anyway, I scrub every morning, and if I, I didn't have the mittens, and I used instead a scrub that I actually have every day in my shower and I love. I mean, I buy these 10 at a time from Temple Spa, and, um, and I love them, and it's a, a lemon scrub, and it's my favorite scrub. The smell is heavenly. It's kind of lemony, fresh. It's got the right combination of oil versus salt, and and I took two of those on holiday with me and I did them every single day. My, it's just come off my calendar, PT session with Samson. Oh, I was about to go back to the gym today. I wish Samson was watching so I could say, sorry, I'm, oh, I forgot that. Um, Carrie's asking for a good after sun. Yes, after sun. So I use Lipicare and I've run out, but it's my favorite thing. And I think unless you're burning, which I really hope you don't, I like Lipicare by La Roche-Posay because it's an incredibly hydrating moisturiser. It is about um, 16, 18 pounds. Um, I don't know if I have another one here because I ran out. Let me just see under body lotions, body lotions, body lotions. Come to me, come to me. I mean, you can do any of them. You could even do, 
No, I'd say do that one. Sorry, I think that's the best one. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, but I also use, I forgot, I forget, um, the Temple Spa Duvet. Um, this is, I have these in the house copiously. What I like about this is the smell and that it goes in without being white and that it leaves this lovely sun on your body and it doesn't feel sticky. Because you know when you're on in the sun, you don't want to put cover yourself in after sun and then you, you go out and it sticks to your clothes and sticks to everything. So this one kind of goes into the skin, um, but you feel incredibly hydrated. And if you sort of glance or sniff occasionally your skin, like a then you might go, hmm, it does smell nice. It smells delicious and it's not too overpowering. It's not too cloying. I'm not somebody who likes like, the sort of burnt caramel of Laura Mercier. It's too much for me on holiday. I like fresh citruses. Which brings me to when I was in Capri. Um, I went to Capri. I love Italy so much. Um, and I had uh, some friends who we'd invited and they bought me this lovely Mediterraneo, which is by Cathard. I always pronounce it incorrectly, so I will get it correctly for you. But we, they went to the store. Cartusia. 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 And it's you know capri is the island of lemons and limoncello and and you just i feel i'm brought back i'm brought back on holiday i get sprayed on me now it's not too overpowering it's incredibly fresh i don't know if you get it in england but it's divine love it don't put it on during the day because the sun will mark your body and give you a lot of people i don't know if you know this but from years ago i would always go psh, psh, when I um, sprayed fragrance on me. And then I got these kind of like um, uh, pigmentation here. And that was actually from excessive use of fragrance in the sun. So be careful of that. Cause it's, is it the alcohol that does that Victoria? Do you think? Yeah, it's, it's continuous application of alcohol. Okay, the other things I did when I was in the sun is I used two masks and I used dry sheet masks. Um, actually, I'm gonna come to those in a second. I'm gonna do one other routine I did. So, I'm all over the shop, so any questions? Yeah, so Lydia is asking, she just come back from holidays in Italy, how to remove unwanted pigmentation. Is there anything more than just vitamin C? Okay, ladies, this is the one. Now, you got the pigmentation on holiday, so it's not long term. So uh, this is what I do, because I, I too have, oh, please don't tell me I didn't bring it. Oh, shit, I thought I bought it. It's in my other bag. There's one like this, perhaps in a blue pot. Can you run down and see if it's there, darling? Sorry. Um. This is what I do, girls. I want to scrub my foot first with a cream that I want to go through with you. I have to find another scrub now. Um, hold on, 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 hold on. When you get back on holiday, you might have a beautiful tan, but the important thing to do is to exfoliate and to do peels and to get off the dead skin cells as quickly as possible, because I think that's the best way. And when you talk about your pigmentation, which you've got from the sun and you've got it quite recently, this is the routine I would do and get straight back in there. So I'm gonna start with, do I have one here? No, 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 no. Is it there? No. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to start with an exfoliator. Um, and I'm using Indeed Labs, but I would use something stronger too. And the one I wanted to share with you, which I've left in my bloody suitcase, is Andalou uh, Blue Face Scrub. And it's got some sort of sea salt in it. It's such a good scrub. I mean, it's a really, really good scrub. And that you can start with that so get down get that skid cell off you might think your tan is going to fade but really what you're doing is cleaning up your skin from days and days of suntan lotion and sun that's kind of thickening it not in the right way so exfoliate then a peel. I would go for a peel and I am loving this bloody peel. I used it before I went on holiday and I'm using it now and it's Juice Beauty. I don't know if you remember, I talked you through their foundation, which I loved. So um, I'm trying a green apple peel, full, full strength. Don't we love the words full strength? So put that on and you do feel it tingle. Juice Beauty, if you remember, actually I might have only done this on Instagram, so I apologise. 
if you haven't heard the company before. But Victoria, you can remind me what I can't remember. But I think it started by a woman quite a few years ago, like 2003 or seven, wasn't yeah, it? And in California, and what she, what I loved about her is all the ingredients that she uses, she gets from her local farm. So it's all kind of like the slow food story. It's produced close to her and very, very brilliantly organic. It does tingle, this uh, green apple, because you've got the acid from the apple. And this is what you should do when you get back. This is how you can kind of calm down your skin, take off any very um, recent uh, pigmentation damage. So we're gonna do this, put this on for about five minutes. And whenever I put on this kind of peel, which is a, a natural organic peel, but still quite strong, I'll continue to rub it in. So as I'm rubbing in, ask me questions, ladies. Sweating in the face like crazy, help. Sweating in the face like crazy. Well, if you're sweating in the face like crazy, I don't know if that's the heat, if that's hormones, or if that's a condition that I'm a doctor and I don't know about. So more information would help me. Um, I kind of just go with the lowest common denominator, which sweating in the face to me is a hormone imbalance of some sort um, when we, we sweat more than we normally sweat. Um, so it's a kind of extension of a hot flush. So unless you're 25, it could be that it's that. Uh, and if you come back to us on that quickly, that'd be great. Uh, and I would say he it's about heat. Heat. Oh, heat. Okay. So then I wouldn't wear many products on your face. I wouldn't do any moisturizer because it's all going to come off. I would do, in fact, has not got any here. I did on a holiday when it was really really hot and I knew I'd sweat. I just did a very light serum. So I did Aurelia's Glow Serum. I did Neutra Neo Neostrata's Collagen Cream. And I did um, my favorite American dermatologist, which is, I'm going to remember, Skin Therapy. I did their Wrinkle Control, their Wrinkle Filler. And this was pure hyaluronic acid. Um, but it gives you hydration without making you feel you're plastering something on. And I think it has more chance of staying. And a fan. A fan is a good plan. Fan is a good plan. I'm happy to be back and see you ladies. Are any of you out there? Um, you're probably all at work and I've got to get on. My daughter, I had such a lovely time with my daughter. I was thinking, by the way, I'm interested. She might cringe with embarrassment. She doesn't watch my Facebook, which thank God. But, um... But somebody on Instagram last night said to me, because when I, how many of you, how many of you followed my holiday on Instagram? Because I just want to know how many of you out there actually also are on Instagram. Okay, you just tell me. Um, anyway, put this mask on for about five minutes. So I um, got a message on Instagram yesterday from this lady who said, I love Lila's post. Oh, you do, how sweet of you, thank you. Um, and I love Lila's posts. Uh, and she's like a mini Trini. She'll look back then a few years ago. Oh, I'm cringing. But one lady said to me, would you consider, um, would you consider doing something with Lila about her wardrobe? And I then texted Lila last night after she'd gone to bed. And I said, where are those masks, darling? Oh, yeah. And I said, um, uh, will you do one with me? I'm just seeing. She's off Scotland this morning. I've got to, I've got to go and wake her up in a minute. Um, they all saw you, Trini. Oh, they did. Oh, how lovely. So, let, anyway, to finish off this story, I was thinking, would any of you, do any of you have daughters around sort of like 11 to 13, 14? Very, very, very tricky to shop for them and shop with them because they've got beginning to get their own style and you're scared they're going to go to that kind of extraneously whatever is slutty place or they're going to suddenly dress like a boy if you dress in pretty dresses they suddenly want to look asexual or the opposite i mean there's many things that come up but would you like the lila to go through her wardrobe and for me and lila to go shopping that's an idea okay so that's um that's my my plan that's my plan now when i was on holiday I did two masks and I did two masks for a few reasons, but I'll just take you through them. Um, I've got to digress for a second, but I had the uh, joy when I was on holiday of um, having a massage twice. And so nice, very, very good. A lady called Natalie, who was extremely wonderful and brilliant. 
and I'm always scared of having somebody give me a massage who I don't know, but she was brilliant. Uh, and when I lie down on the massage table, I have this thing. Do you know what it's called in that technique, like photosensitive skin? Or for, it's when your skin, you, you know, I do that to my skin and that nail mark will be there all day. And what that means is probably my skin's looking a bit old. But what it also means is that I have this skin which impregnates marks very quickly. So I'm the kind of person who sleeps on the pillow and if there's two creases in it, there'll be a, a beautiful line there all day. Um, that's why I use that row so much. But I thought to myself when I was going down on the base of her massage table like this, what can I do because she's got towels there and they're going to mark me. And I remembered I had this mask, okay, by Nanette de Gasp, Gaspé. And I had wanted to try this mask for so long and I thought, I'll try it. And it says, I think it says massage in, but basically it's a dry sheet mask. And I was always a bit... Um, kind of you know I just didn't understand the hype of dry sleep marks and I especially never understand the hype of something that I haven't yet tried properly. I tried Charlotte Tilbury's dry sheet mask and um, it was surprisingly good because you put it on and, and the first time I'd use a dry sheet mask um, I kind of thought how is this going to do anything and I didn't even massage it in but I was having my eyelashes done by Edie um, and I lay up and, I, and she I just had it on then so I had it on for about an hour Anyway, I took it off. My skin was, you know, surprisingly hydrated. So then I heard that the queen of dry sheet masks was this lady, Nanette. And she had kind of actually probably, I think, done the mask for Charlotte Tilbury. Secret bit of information, but I think it's correct. And she has all of the original ingredients um, for her mask. So, so the other masks that people use inspired by her or from her, you know, whoever she does masks for, I'm not sure exactly they might use a bit more alcohol or a bit more this or a bit more that so she uses the most the strongest ingredients and therefore her masks are the most expensive because this mask is prohibitive it is how much 80. 80 pounds you use it three i actually used it four times so it's probably not going to work now um but afterwards my skin was unbelievable unbelievable i mean like better than any mask i'd ever used and i and on that moment so let's say you've got a really you know big event coming up and you'll think what do I do the joy of this is it's multitasking I can be brushing my teeth I can be bending down I can be doing the painting no painting will go on my face but you can do anything in it and it's working because it's the the technique of of all the heat close with this mask and then it's got a ton of if we look at so we did a comparison Victoria and I of Nanette's mask with Charlotte Tilbury's mask where's hers have I got it here? Yeah, you got it here. Okay, and because Darling Victoria is the um, is the biologist, the ingredients are quite similar. Charlotte's mask is fifteen pounds for three. Nanette's is 80, 80 pounds for three. So we thought, okay, what what's going on here? I think um, the biggest difference is for our is the high, high, high percentage of peptides of marine exercise and peptides or yeah, of, of peptides. peptides and marine extrides in Nanette's is like 75%, far more water-based ingredients, and I think there's some ethanol in ethanol uh, in Charlotte's, which is alcohol-based stuff. So both really good, different budgets, but fantastic, saved me. So so my routine was scrub in the bath with Dr. Lancer or the lovely Andalou thing, um, and then put this on, and you're meant to do a little kind of massaging, and, um, and then my sunscreen. So, that was my holiday. Is there anything I haven't talked you through? Any other questions says, to darling? having issues with really dry skin around her eyes, any advice? Well, um, really dry skin around the eye can be a number of things. It can be dependent on the makeup you're using. It can be how much water you're drinking. What I'm doing a lot of at the moment, and I don't have to put them in here, is I am doing a hell of a lot of pills. I'm doing a lot of omegas, a lot of... Um, different fish and oil based um, vitamins and I think as we get older we need that internal um, moisture coming through the hydration of fish oils and water so dehydrated and and dry skin um, different things so I don't know more information about why you might have it but I would say Exfoliation is important. Some people don't exfoliate around the eye. I think you can very gently exfoliate around the eye and there are things for that. And it could be, 
I don't know if you're using eye cream, it could be you're using too much eye cream and you just need to get the skin under there to self-regulate. You might smoke, you might drink. I don't know about these outside factors. I hope that helped a tiny bit. Okay, next question. So what? James says, can you ask Trini, best camouflage for scar on the face? Best camouflage for scar on the face, I would say is beyond a shadow of a doubt, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. It's a concealer. I don't know if I have any left here. You know what, I always say that because I left it in my bag um, and I don't have it here, but it comes in a sort of, this is not correct, but it comes in a sort of brown case like that. I take C3 or C4, it comes with two shades, it's quite a thick density, covers every bloody thing. There's times I've had a scar on my neck when I had a neck operation, it covered it instantly, it's brilliant. Yeah, okay. Okay, another Jacobo, what face wash did you use after a long day at the beach? Ah, oh, yes, what face wash did I use? I used my, um, I used the one I always use, which is my skin therapy wash. Um, and I've done it in my Julia Hunter routine. Uh, so I did use that every day with my little, with my Foreo. And the Foreo was key. I could literally use a Foreo with soap. Well, not soap, but you know, with a fairy liquid. It's just, it's the mechanism of the massaging of the Foreo. I couldn't actually do that. Take, can I take that statement back? But I used it with, um, Julia Hunter's um, Maxil Skin Therapy Cleaner. Yes. Okay, next question. Lisa's asking, did you hit the ph pharmacy in Italy for products? I, you know what, I went. I went in Capri and pharmacies in Italy aren't very good because a pharmacy is really like nappies, pills, um, etc. And then you have the perfumery. So if you say to me, did you hit the perfumery in Italy? I did. But then I went and bought things I'd run out of. Um, which, what did I buy? Oh, I did, I don't know what I did by there. I don't know if I put it in here. Um, I bought some prohibitively expensive thing. I bought the La Prairie transforming, um, I, I'd run out of SPF 30 cream. And so I bought this and I just didn't realize how much it was. It was so expensive, it was like over a hundred pounds. Um, and it was like not a tinted moisturizer and not a foundation, whatever it was, it was, amazing i'm going to show you afterwards it comes in this and la prairie does packaging you just want to sit there and and have your own it's like a piece of sculpture in your bathroom and i'm never drawn into packaging but i kind of this product worked too and uh, it was beautiful it only comes in three shades la prairie like many french or swiss labels do not consider um any skin tone apart from a kind of the darkest is a light caramel or a dark caramel um but it was a great cream so that's what i bought what else did i buy i bought did I buy any hair product? No. Um, oh, I bought these amazing shower caps. That's what I bought in the perfumery. Okay, next question. Lisa's asking pore minimization treatments. Pore minimization treatments. Where's my pore minimization? Okay, pore minimization. I did have. So, Effa BB Blur is really good. These are the ones I just keep in my drawer, which I've been using for different things, and they're great, which is by La Roche Posay. That's a good one. Um, and then a combination. NYX is a company that people feel strongly about because they do um, get things, uh, they sell in China and in China you have to do animal testing. So if you're against animal testing, don't buy from it. But if you don't mind about that sort of thing, a mixture of the um, I'm gonna do it, pore filler and the shine killer. And basically you put the pore filler on first and it really, it's like gold, it's fantastic. It makes them disappear. And then you put the shine killer on top. That combination is brilliant. And then I love, for me, because I get kind of a mixture, not so much of big pores, but of, um, of uh, lines. And Murad Invisible um, Shield is brilliant. Uh, the Basic Baby of the Family, which is a wonderful one, um, hang on, it's all going to fall that I'm going to do later. Is that poor invisible pour from Benefit? I love that product. Okay, that's enough for you today. Um, I'm going to take off this mask. What time is it, Victoria? 8.05. 8 what? 8.05. 8.05. Okay, i got to run because that lovely Samson. Now, let me just... Here. Amazing. Amazingly, you take this off. This is the fourth time, actually, I've used it. And it's, it's like that kind of magic miracle because my skin... It's just, it feels, you know when I did the mask from Dr. Lancer, it's, it's nearly better than that actually, it's better than that. And I, when I put it on, you know, I'd done the exfoliation and my skin was really dry and now 
You see that? Brilliant. Brilliant! Brilliant! I do love it. My God, I gotta wait until I can afford another one. I think I might buy one twice a year and save for special occasions. Okay, ladies, I'm off. I do rabbit on and I thought that I would try and stick with um, doing half an hour on Facebook. And what I'd love to do is on Thursday, what day are we today? Wednesday. We're Wednesday. I was wondering, do we want to do a Zara shop on Friday? How many of you would like a Zara shop on Friday? And we'll come with me on Friday. Um, if you would like a Zara shop on Friday, what's a good time of day for you? Because you're from so many different places, ladies. So tell me what time you'd like me to do a Zara shop. Or if you want to wait till Monday, I kind of like it at the weekend, before the weekend, because then I feel... Um, I, I know a few of you will. I know a few of you will say yes. So I'll do it Friday. Look out for it Friday night when you get home from work. If you're in Australia, look out for things that are going to come next season. And it's good to be back. It's lovely to see you, ladies. And you know what? April, if, if you're not going away in April, I mean, sorry, God, if you're not going away in August or you've been away, let's make the most of August. Even if the weather outside is shitty, think of all the things we can do because the streets where I live, the streets are a bit emptier, not so many people around. You can, it's time to get things done in preparation for the autumn. So let's think of all the exciting things we can get done together. Is it time to go through our wardrobes? Is it time to, to chuck out from my bathroom and let you ladies get hold of some stuff? I think it probably is. Um, but it's definitely time for clearing out my wardrobe, for sure. Um, so I'm gonna do quite a lot of that in August. So for you, those of you who are here and, and not going away anyway, let me entertain you um, so we can all feel good in August. Sending you kisses and see you Friday for Zara! Zara!